Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoko. And tonight, I wanted to bring you up to speed on the solar cycle progression for cycle 25. A lot of people are misinformed, misinterpreting data, and misrepresenting the facts. I've heard a number of people say that cycle 25 is going to be the biggest in history. Which is, well, couldn't be further from the truth. Here is the current position as of a week ago on the solar cycle progression of 25. Now, this position is about one year and two months into the solar cycle. And if we go back to the same spot here, we're at an even higher area in 24. Meaning that 25 and 24 are very similar. Now, if we lay the last four solar cycles on top of each other, you can see that solar cycle 25 is almost mimicking solar cycle 24. As far as percentages, it is 100%, more than 100% weaker than solar cycle 21 and 23. More than 100% weaker and 200% weaker than solar cycle 22. So solar cycle 25 pales in comparison to 21, 22, and 23. It's almost mimicking 24. Now on a long-term progression, 25 is the same as 24. It's 100 times less than 23 and 200% less than 22. We have to go back before the 1900s to even find a cycle equivalent. In fact, we can here in 1908, the peak. That would be the same as cycle 24. And that would be cycle 14. 14 and 24 look pretty similar. 25 and 14, the same. But these were all grand minima cycles. Back here, there's a centennial minimum. Back here is the Dalton minimum. And then the Maunder minimum. These two cycles are bigger than 24 and 25. We are back in grand minima times. Regardless of what anyone with a half a million subscribers says, they're blinded because they've already determined their outcome. And we're basing our interpretation on facts and science, which we want to show you here. This cycle that peaked in 1908 is the same strength as cycle 24. That would be cycle 14. And 25 is not looking any stronger than any of these during the Dalton, Centennial, or Maunder minimum. Now, what happens during these grand minimas is typically solar outbursts. Many people throw around the term the Carrington event back in 1859. Well, if we want to go back on the solar progression and look at that, this is when the Carrington event happened. And then two solar cycles after that, we went into the centennial minimum. But the Carrington event happened after a deep Dalton minimum. And it also changed the landscape on Earth. <clears throat> now, the 774-775 carbon-14 spike, better known as the Charlemagne event or even the Miyake event, is 10 or 100 times larger than the Carrington event. And a few hundred years later, there was the 993-994 carbon spike. 
another solar outburst or solar proton event eclipsing the Carrington event times 10. Yet this event was 60% weaker than the Charlemagne event. And it is our contention that the Charlemagne event is the reason why we see plasma petroglyphs in the sky and on the rock. They were witnessing the solar storm in epic proportions. Now, if any of these events Carrington or Charlemagne happen. The grid is fried. It's over. It's over forever. The rebuilding will take years and uh, the millions of starving and hungry hooligans left on earth will be a problem. Now, let's just bring this into view here. <clears throat> on how significant of an event we are living is. We're looking at the last 100,000 years on Earth and the magnetic dipole. And the last extinction event that killed off hominids was back here 41,000 years ago, the extinction of the Neanderthal. And then after that was this drop down, the extinction during the Younger Dryas event, which killed 60% of all megafauna on land. And if you can see how we're dropping down now, well, the magnitude is the same as the last mass extinction. And it is expected to continue to drop all the way down towards four or lower. And as it happens, if the sun were to outburst, our magnetosphere would be so weak, we would witness the same things that ancients saw and maybe even begin recording them on the rock. Who knows? And if this type of information interests you, well, by all means, join us at the first ever Plasma Petroglyph Conference on Earth. Squatterman 2022, the Plasma Petroglyph Tour, where we bring you to the rocks and then we bring you back into the convention center to discuss what we saw. May 14th and 15th in Ruidoso, New Mexico. A once in a lifetime opportunity to see what the ancients saw. About a thousand years ago during the Charlemagne event. That's a boo to knowledge. If you have any questions, leave them below and I will answer them. If there's even a chance you could make it out to the conference, I would do so. It will be life changing. And that's a boo. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. In a dystopian world where you have to tune into the Oppenheimer Ranch Project to get the facts on some of the largest earth changes in 12,000 years and the mainstream media, well, they're complicit. They're not allowed to tell you this information. Be safe. We love you. That's a boo. Mm -hmm.